So as somebody mentioned, yes, algebra finding its way back in. So here, arc PS, where we got arc PS, there it is, is 4x plus 5. Is that what you got? So that's that green one there. And the blue one, PT, is 50. And it says that PRS, now that's just angle PRS. If some of you thought it was arc PRS, you're like, <laughs> R is not even on the circle. How can it be arc PRS? And you're right, it can, because that's just saying the angle is x plus 2.5. Well, if you had to tell me what it was, it's a tangent and a secant, correct? But again, is that how we're really looking at these problems? You don't have to. It's hitting outside. So the far arc, well, unfortunately, it's algebra. The far arc is, unfortunately, 4x plus 5 minus the close arc of 50. But then what do I have to do to that? Take math. And it equals the angle, which is x plus 2.5. So you have a lot of options here, but what I would do is let's look in these parentheses. We've got 4x. Oh, minus 45. We got this half out front that we have to decide what we want to do. Is it okay to distribute the half on this side? It's fine. It is an option, not the option I would choose, but you can do that. I can come back and show you that if you'd like to. What I would actually do here, and the reason I would do that is I'm looking over here and I see the decimal and I'm not too fond of that decimal right there. But luckily enough, if I turn around and multiply this side by two, these will cancel, correct? And if I multiply that side by two, will that get rid of that decimal? Coincidentally, it will. Right? So over here, I got 4x minus 45 left. Is this the only way you can do this problem though? No. What is it over here if you distribute the two? And let's face it, we'd rather distribute a two than a half, right? So it's 2x plus 5. Now we've gotten rid of fractions, gotten rid of decimals. That's why I would do it that way. Not the only way. I'm sure many of you did it the other way. And now we have a variable on both sides. So let's take care of that. These cancel. 4x minus 2x. 2x minus 45 equals 5. Add 45 then. So 2x equals 50. Divide by 2. X is 0.5. Now, remember, this is not necessarily an algebra class, so finding X is not necessarily the answer to the question. In this case, is X all they wanted? Could I have asked you for more? Yeah. In fact, I really could have asked you for arc ST if I wanted to. Because once you can put 25 in here, you could find the other arc. Because you would have all the arcs you needed, the 360 total. I could have asked you for angle R over there. I could have asked you just for that arc. A lot of things I could have asked you to solve for. So remember, sometimes in geometry, just the algebra is not the entire problem. So any questions so far? Well, if you did not get that one right, please get the work in there that shows how to do it correctly. This one here is an interesting one, but I did try to give you a suggestion earlier of how you might go about this one. This is the one that's two tangents. But again, not really how we're looking at it. We're looking at it as, well, these two are hitting each other outside. But wait a minute. I already gave you the angle. I told you it's 28 degrees. Hmm. Well, that complicates things. Well, there's a Y sitting there. I'm, I'm assuming that's what we have to solve for. Huh. Well, what if I told you y was uh, 100? And now, it may or may not be. But let's say I told you that. I'm going to try and get you to thought process here. If I told you that was 100, would you be able to tell me how much that one was? 260, right? Because it's 360 total, right? So what if I changed my mind and told you it was 200 instead? Then it'd be 160. Now, how are you getting these? You're taking whatever I tell you and you're subtracting it from 360. Isn't that what you're really doing? So if that's y over there, who can tell me what this arc, w-e-b, or web, is over here? Who can tell me 360 minus y is perfect? That has to be, 
And isn't that going to work every time? No matter what y value I tell you for that arc, wouldn't that work to give you the other arc? Because the total is 360. For those that want to see it algebraically, it would be 360 minus y plus y to get the whole circle, correct? So the y's would cancel. So now it is hitting outside, so here we go. Far arc. Now, well, which one's far arc? Well, that's, yeah, web, right? Yeah, 360 minus y is the far arc. Now, here's what some people think. They think they have already taken far arc minus close arc. And could you see people wanting to do I definitely can, because it's a minus in there. I don't blame you for doing that. But really, that right there is just the far arc. Now we have to subtract the closest arc, which is coincidentally also y. Right? And of that, we are to take half of it to get the angle. right? And the angle, though, we've already been told is 28. Once again, that half is something you have to decide how you want to deal with it. Because right here, I like to do the parentheses first if there's anything I can do, because that's what order of operations tells you to do. So this is what, 360 minus 2i equals 28. Is distributing the half this time as, as scary as it was the last time? No. So you can distribute the half, or well, a lot of times what I like to do is multiply by 2 on both sides. Would you prefer to see the, the distributing the half this time? I can show that to you. So here's distributing a half. So you take 1 half times that is 180. 1 half times that is negative 1y. Do I distribute the half to the 28? No. Well, I've got a negative y sitting there. All right. Well, that's almost by itself, except for that negative. So let's get this 180 out of here. How are we going to do that? Subtract 180. Why would I do that? Because these two now cancel. So negative y equals, well, it's going to be a negative number. Is that OK if negative y equals a negative number? Is that going to work out for us? Yeah, it's probably not going to be that big a deal. Yeah, well, negative what? What is that there? 152? So if negative y equals negative 152, positive y equals positive 152. For those of you that don't know why, Really could look at it as dividing both sides by a negative 1 if you like to see it that way, but I think most of you just know that. Because uh, then a negative over a negative here is a positive. Once again, could I have asked you for more than just y in this problem? Yeah, I could have asked you to find both arcs. I uh, could have done a lot of things. So the 100 and 200 I gave you earlier were incorrect, but I bracketed the actual answer fairly well. Okay. Any questions? Yes? Okay, the question there was, could we take the negatives and put it in absolute value? I would be careful when using absolute value. Probably try and stay away from it unless it was already in the problem. Okay, Because sometimes that gives you, they can give you wrong answers. Because it gets rid of negatives, which are problems sometimes. So, Good question, though. Anything else? All right. 